Today we're going to take a look at creating a multi-part one step in Sharewell. I'm in the client tool and I'm going to go up to one step, one step manager. I'm going to change my association to incident and I've got a sample one step built here already that I've called multi one step. So let's edit that. I'm going to click on a pencil to edit or I could right click and edit that guy in place. Now I've got a three part one step here. It's going to actually run a report it's going to take that report and email it out and then it's going to do a little pop-up and say that I ran successfully. So you can have as many steps in a one step as you need to. If I click on add here on the right these are all the choices. So I could run that report, I could email it, I could do a pop-up and I could actually print that same report out to a printer if I wanted to. So let's take a look at how this guy is built. So the first one is run a report. I'm going to edit that. So what I've done is I hit the ellipsis here and I went and I grabbed my monthly management incident review and I'm going to run that against the current group that I'm on or I could just use the report criteria. So you would probably use that first choice. So you'd build the criteria into the report and tell it which groups to run against, especially if you're going to run this from a scheduler because there is no current group if you're running this scheduled. So you would want to use the reports criteria, the built-in group that he's going to search for. Now in this case I'm writing this out to a file, to a PDF, and I called it Monthly Management Review. I'm going to click OK. So that's the first step. Grab the report, run it, drop it out to a PDF. The second step is to send an email. So as we discussed in an earlier review of Sharewell, we can now send to Teams. So I'm going to send this email to the IT management team and I did that by clicking on the to field, going to the upper right corner and picking a team and then grabbing the IT management team. So this will send an individual email to everyone who is on that team. So I've given it a subject line. I did an attachment of that PDF by browsing and I went and grabbed that PDF. Now this is kind of a chicken and egg thing. If you haven't run that report one time there is no PDF file for you to path out to and grab. So you actually have to run that report, have the file get dropped to your location, and then you can go here, browse, point to it, and from then on, ShareWell will go ahead and grab that report. You just need to make sure that you run the report, of course, before you try to send the email out with him as an attachment. Then in my body of the email, I have attached is the monthly report for current date time, current date time, why do I have both of those? Well, we can put a modifier on any field in your email. <clears throat> so if I right click on the current day time, choose modifiers, you'll see I'm just picking the month out of that current day time. So when I run this email, it's actually going to say the word June here. And the second one, I put a modifier of just the year, 2014. So this will say attached is the monthly management review for June 2014. If I run this in July, it's going to say July 2014. So that's an easy way for you not to have to hard code uh, dates, times, words in the email. You can actually use modifiers. And then for my last item here, please review and provide feedback to Service Desk Manager email. That's just a system variable or a stored value. So if I scroll down here, we have a stored value called Service Desk Manager email. So I can put a stored value in there instead of hard coding that person's name. So if the service desk manager changes or their email changes, all we have to do is go into ShareWell, change that in one spot, and anywhere we're using it in an email, that will get fixed up automatically. Then my last step is just a pop-up. Let me edit that. That's just going to pop up and say, I ran successfully. So this is a real simple multi-step, one step. Run the report, drop it out to a file, send an email and attach that PDF, and then run a pop-up for me. Now, if this is a scheduled job, of course that pop-up's not going to run because there's no desktop user to interact with. But I just wanted to put it in here as an example. If this was a scheduled job, I would take that step out because it doesn't make sense. It's not going to pop up and interact with anyone's desktop. So let me click OK here. Now if I run this, It's going to say there's no records to run against. 
because I'm not on a search group. But if this was in the scheduler, that could use a search group, like I said, that was built into the actual report and run and send that email out. Now, if I go and just do a quick search here and bring back all my tickets and run that one step again, now it's going to run against all those tickets and it's going to send that email out after the report is run. So I'm just going to let it run for a couple seconds here. I'll cancel it, and then I'll go show you that PDF report that he is picking up. So let me cancel here. I'm going to minimize my screen. I'm going to go to my C drive where I dropped the report, and there he is. And just open that with Acrobat. So this is the report that would actually get mailed out and attached to that email. So that's a simple way to create a multi-part one-step in Sharewell.